But let's dive into this. Um, Brian Newman, I'm going to introduce our panelists here. Brian Newman, he is the uh, Director of Instruction and Fitness here at Orange Whip Golf and Fitness. Um, he's the co-founder of Golf Fitness X and Golf Fitness X Methodology, and that's what we're going to be talking about a lot today. Uh, he's a PGA member. He's a personal trainer, so he's he sees the lens from both the, the golf instructor and the golf trainer physical trainer aspects so that's that's a lot of the uh, discussions we'll have today with both your golf swing and your body um, you can see a few more of his credentials there a golf injury and coordination specialist crossfit level one and also a certified uh golf trainer um you know joining brian today will be jim hackenberg a lot of you may know jim he's uh the developer and ceo of Orange Whip Golf and Fitness. He's a PGA member. Um, he uh, is the 2017 Horton Smith Award winner in the Carolinas PGA. And, and many of you that have the Orange Whip or heard of the Orange Whip, um, you know, it's one of the top training aids out there and used by PGA, LPGA, touring pros all across the, uh, all across the, um, the globe. So um, we're gonna introduce Jim here. And Brian, are you guys there? I'm here. Brian, are you around? Getting ready. Hold on, let's see if we can get Brian up here. All right, I think we got him now. Okay. You there, Brian? Yeah, you had me muted for my uh, know, my big I debut. Know. I was back here singing. <laughs> I'm sorry to do that. What, we knew that once you get unmuted, that you'll just take over. So we thought we'd keep you muted as long as possible. Hey, that, it was good. I, I actually, I just gave my whole presentation. So I'll, I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> All right, guys, you take it from here. Um, you know, we'll be, uh, like I said, answer some questions. If you guys have anything out there, attendees, and uh, – I'll let Jim and then Brian take it over. So you guys go ahead. All right. Thank you. Hey, everyone. This is Jim Hackenberg. I'm here at Orange Whip World Headquarters here in Easley, South Carolina. We're very excited about this webinar because if you're a player, if you're a coach, if you're an instructor, if you're a fitness expert, any of the above, what we're going to talk about today, being able to transform your golf swing and body with a game-changing routine is a great opportunity. So we're, we're excited to get going with this. But you know what I've been thinking? I moved to Easley, South Carolina exactly 13 years ago on October 27th, so just a few days around the corner. And that's when I came here to design and build this original Orange Whip. This is the one I presented at the January 2008 PGA show. So I'm feeling uh, nostalgic these days because it's been 13 years. We've come a long way. This is our current Orange Whip. And this is the original. They still swing very similar. They got a great feel. They're a lot of fun. But what they were all about was to teach rhythm, balance, and the sequencing motion in a golf swing. Now, to do that, I needed a tool and I needed a routine. So I had a very basic, simple routine that I show my golfers to loosen their body, to get them in rhythm, get them in sequence, and maintain their balance. So I'm going to just briefly go through some of these routines that I developed to teach this motion, but also to get your body ready. And I'm gonna go old school. I'm gonna use the original orange whip trainer. And uh, you know, like I said, it's still fully functional. It looks a little bit different, but it reacts the same. So as a golf instructor, I always struggled when I'd watch my students just swing pure upper body and they wouldn't use their lower body. So my first movement I call the torso twist. I'm gonna put my feet shoulder width apart, extend my arms at stomach height with the palms facing the sky. And I'm gonna just use my footwork to rotate that body. By repeating this motion, I get comfortable rotating, but I get comfortable using footwork to generate energy from the ground and power from the ground. By repeating that, you also loosen up your back and you get your arms traveling with your body. We also all recognize that there's a wrist hinge in the golf swing. With the wrist hinge, you're creating a lever that you're loading up energy so that you can unload energy through impact. I like to do that one hand at a time 
by holding it with my normal right hand grip, thumb on top. I've choked down to make the device a little lighter and I just push it to get started and I let it hinge back and forth using my footwork to keep it going. I do anywhere from 10 to 15 of those with my right hand and my left hand. And finally, I take the orange whip, I hold it as if I'm in a full golf driver stance, and I will then start very slowly back and forth. This is to get everything to flow together. This is when your golf swing starts to come together in your most powerful, natural, balanced motion. I repeat this, creating more speed as I find that load and unload. Now, by repeating this simple routine every day, if you can do these drills, it'll take you three minutes. Let's even say for the length of one of your favorite songs. Pick out your favorite song in the morning. Do your orange whip drills as a routine. If you do this every day, your golf body will feel better. Your golf swing will feel better. And you're going to hit it further and straighter. So find these simple routines. I had a very basic one, very basic concept. What's been fantastic with Brian Newman, who's a PGA member, joining our team and becoming basically the, the mind and the body of our fitness program, he has taken it to a way higher level, a way more, let's say, encompassing. You can get every aspect you need for your golf game from fitness to speed to balance to health. I mean, there's a lot of health issues people have with their golf and their, and their body. Brian has a routine and a program that you can follow. And what's fantastic, a lot of you have done a lot of the pre-screening and the assessments. That's just the beginning. That allows us and Brian and his programs to find out what it is that you need to take yourself to that next level. So I would like to get Brian to join us. I'm here in the Orange Rip World Headquarters. He's in our Southern Command down in Fort Myers, Florida, and he's got a great operation down there. And Brian, join us here and uh, let us know a little bit about how you want to take us to the next step. Yeah, the uh, down here in the satellite location. Can you guys hear me okay? Yep, I can. All right, so, um, well, Jim, thank you for going through your routine. Obviously, the theme of today is, uh, is routine, so excited to really share some, some cool stuff. We, we started off with this, um, this idea because it's a, it's a common question we get asked uh, a lot is routine-based, off-season training. Um, what drills can I do with my orange whip? It's super, super common, and... What we, um, with the Golf Fitness X methodology, specializing in, in swing movement training and coordination training paired with improving the body, um, very excited to continue to talk about what we have available and how it works. So we're going to talk some science behind everything. Um, but we started this off today, you know, routines are subjective. And whenever we start talking about routines, there's a lot of variables that are involved with the individual looking to create a routine. And there's two different types of routines we're gonna talk about. One is what Jim just demonstrated, which is a um, what to do while performing um, movement training or prior to your round. And then a routine is in your daily routine, right? So when we talk about um, how do I develop a daily routine for golf or a weekly routine for golf. So there's a lot of things that des decide that based on, on on you guys and what those are are your schedule your time uh the cost your the variables around you right your equipment what do you have at your house do you go to the gym do you like to work out in groups so there's a lot of things that that when we started to talk about this topic um a little bit ago the, the idea came to mind that i said you know what it's there's really no cookie cutter for a good routine so the best way to do this is can if we can reach out to the audience so what we did is for those of you who filled out um, our routine uh, questionnaire that we sent out, body and swing routine questionnaire, we got uh, some awesome data back. So it's super cool to see this. And this is really developed from our, we built this um, platform and there's a lot more to it uh, in terms of at home screening and working with our coaches. So this is how we originally designed this entire thing was to allow our coaches to provide a better based program for our athletes um, who are golfers. So common question is who should use, who can use this style of movement training, right? And notice I'm gonna call it movement training. I'm not gonna call it, I'm not gonna call it workouts. I'm not gonna call it practice 
but I'm, we're going to talk about training, right? So again, we developed what you guys had a brief taste in, but we really wanted to make golf fitness and golf swing training extremely accessible, extremely efficient, and able to finally help you one make those changes to your swing because those are the reasons we even develop a routine right we want to make those changes to our swing and we want to find a system that allows us to get better measure that and continue to improve on a regular basis so that's what we've got to talk about today so before we keep going um i'm going to go ahead and share my my ipad screen with you guys here and i'm going to share some of this data um that we got back and then i'm actually going to show you too so we sent back out the, the um, routines for everybody to use. So I wanna go ahead and touch on those. And if you're watching this and you haven't had a chance to fill this out yet, you can still go ahead and do that. Um, just give us a little bit of time to go ahead and turn those back around. We, we're sorting them, making sure that it's efficient for everybody to get access to them. And if you have any questions um, in the form itself, you can find my, um, my personal email that I can help you navigate through this um, based on how, how I created it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. All right, so let's go ahead and um, I want to show you guys this data here. Um, you can see You can see that we've got, again, I'm in a satellite location. So um, if the kids figure out how to open the door, um, I'll put them through a movement training program so you can see what to do with your kids. But we've got, um, so what was really neat to see all this, we had over 381 responses to this. So we got to see, we got to reach out and create a program based on the questions we asked you guys. And we're gonna talk about those a little bit. But you can see that we've got 84% um, of the people who submitted a response um, have the orange whip trainer. So there's a big goal with what we're doing with the golf and sex methodology to help those of you who own the orange whip trainer, because it has a lot that it can do with not only how it's designed, it's science, but in terms of training your swing skills. Um, and we define those in golf fitness X as your ability to tilt, turn, shift your weight, separate your body, and also put the club somewhere. So it's awesome to see how many of you have the orange whip trainer. And I like to refer to that as that's the gateway into being able to train your movement patterns functionally. And from there, it continues to go. You've got the light speed next, where you've got about 40% that have that. The wedge, the putter, which for short game, we're going to talk more about full swing routine. But for short game, it's the same thing with functional training aids. And the putter and the wedge are great for that. We've got the orange peel, the power peel. We've got 20%. So some cool data in here. And then I asked about your wish list, so it was nice to see you guys are uh, interested in some product. Um, so again, one question that we asked right out of the gate was, how many of you are currently members of our online program? So before we get started with this, if you fill out this questionnaire and you're accessing your routine, the routine that we provided you, we were using our online information, and that's our workouts, our swing training, our hitting drills, the reason that we're providing those to you is this can help provide a roadmap of what to do, how to do, and when, but our programs are specifically and scientifically designed to increase your improvement really, really fast, for lack of a way to put it. So it looks like 68% of you are not members to the site. 16% didn't even know we had online subscription-based movement and swing training, and then 15% of you are. So for those of you who aren't, and you filled out this questionnaire, when you get your dashboard, those links will go directly to the site. Now, this costs $9.99 a month. It's less than a sleeve of balls cost, is what I always say. And it, you've got a two-week free trial. So go in there and check it out. You can cancel anytime. But we've really developed this system to provide you a routine, right? You guys are all here based on wanting to find a routine, and we've done all the work for you. And we're going to talk about that a little bit more. So Try it out again. The on there is awesome. Um, you can do it with our minimal equipment or a new power strap and speed kit. If you've got an orange whip too, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do in that. And we're continuing to add programming all the time. 
All right, so it looks like our average age is 60 plus years old. So we're gonna talk about that as well. That's a question we've been asked already. Um, predominantly male. So ladies, looking forward to talking to you guys as well, or you gals about our routine. And we asked about your frequency of training. So this is important because for me to just say a cookie cutter program, like for anybody, right? How many days a week should I do X, Y, Z? Well, how many days a week can you do X, Y, Z? So we really wanna make sure that we have that. And again, we can continue to go through this data and check it out. Um, I like to see our most common swing flaw. So again, we asked you what your swing flaw was, um, how your body reacted to different exercise from flexibility, stability, mobility, all that stuff. And then we asked you what your driver speed was. So we were able to calculate your speed. And then winning the contest for the most common swing flaw was our over the top at 21%, followed by the chicken wing second. So those are some good ones, but uh, awesome stuff. Thank you for filling those out. So let's talk about what you can do with your results real quick. And then we're going to jump in to the methodology, the science behind this and some tools that'll help you achieve your goals. Um, this is a great roadmap to start, and that's why we were so excited to get this out to you. So again, let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm gonna show you an example. So when you click our link, you're gonna page, and I see people are um, already using this, which is great. Uh, you can see it's sorted by your email, okay? So your name's not in there, your full email address isn't in there, just find your email. There's a list of what it starts with that we just emailed out. And then you've got to toggle down and click the date and time that you submitted that. Now, sometimes you have to wait for it to reload. So make sure you click that and then click the date below it, select that, and then you're able to scroll down and you're able to see your results. All right, up here in the corner and with the three buttons, I'm in the Google, um, the Google Forms or the Google Sheets app. If you're on your PC, just go up to the left-hand corner and click File and hit download as, okay? And if you're on a mobile app, just hit share and export, all right? And you wanna hit send a copy and hit PDF, and that's gonna make it really easy, okay, for you guys to be able to see this. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at that here. And I'm gonna just walk you through briefly you can save it to your files or email it to yourself. Let's see if I got in between somebody, because this is the actual live form itself. Um, it looks like everybody's on here using it, which is awesome. Um, and again, just be patient. You can click the, the toggles to be able to view that. Once you view it, just make sure you go ahead and export that as a PDF. Um, and again, we've got some traffic in there, but just be patient. You'll have a time to be able to export that because um, we really had to custom build this. So export it as a PDF. And once you do that, all right, you'll be able to pull that up. Let me find this PDF here. So again, share and export. I'm going to go ahead and send a copy. And I'm going to airdrop that. So again, you can save it right to your device. Then you just go to your files. This is on my iPad that I'm showing you here. And you'll just find that PDF on my iPad. And here we go. All right, so this is what you've all been presented with. And again, we're gonna to touch on this briefly, but this is based on your submission and you ranked your distance and power. We asked a few questions to figure that out and we figured out where we could see improvements with that. As we continue to scroll down, based on the number of days that you had said that you were going to be able to practice, be available to swing train or be available to hit balls, we populated this based on what you struggled with, what you selected. So for this individual over the top, again, that was our biggest percentage. And on here, we've got direct links that you can go ahead and click and open, and they're gonna take you right to our site there. Now, again, if you're not a member, do your two week free trial so you can access this um, and be able to check that out. Again, you can cancel any time. 
But these videos, we talk about routine and making it easy, right? One of the things that allows a routine to be successful is simplicity, okay? So if you want to develop a routine, we've all been there before where we've said, okay, I want to do this exercise. I want to work on this piece of my body. I want to get fit here. And when we talk specifically about the golf swing, we all self-diagnose a lot, whether it be YouTube, whether it be a tip we had when we were a kid. And we start trying to figure out our own program, which is basically impossible to do. I personally, I still take lessons. The best players in the world take lessons. The best players in the world have a trainer. They have guided movements and training to help them out. So in terms of simplicity, we made this system as easy as possible where literally with your roadmap, you click that on the day that you're able to perform it, go in there, push play and follow along with the video, okay? If you have a garage or a basement, that's great. If you've got low ceilings, you can use the compact. You can even use a club if you don't have one of our products. And we talk about you can see this is some of our brand new unreleased orange whip training where we're training you to fix your over the top movement based on using our golf fitness x fit skill methodology and that's where we're training your movement pattern as your body's getting better too okay so that's just an example of some of that we also have our speed training and we've got to go fast if we want our movement to increase in speed but Unlike, the, unlike other speed training, training programs, we're going to make you move fast and make you move properly at the same time. Okay, so this is just giving you a brief tour of some of the easy routine things that on day X, I'm doing this program. And again, we're going to talk a little bit about the science as we do this once we get past there. And then we've got our hitting drills. So this is actually hitting balls using your products. We've got our brand new foot straps, our power straps that we call them that you can actually strike with golf balls. And we're gonna talk about that as we continue to go. But again, we wanna make this as easy as possible. So our goal is, again, going into the off season, right? Or what do I need to do to improve in my routine? Well, you already told us how much time you have to dedicate towards each one of these areas, which includes swing training. You've gotta hit balls. We call that the performance movement. And then we also, we encourage you to have a fitness program, okay? So this is all encompassing. Now, unlike other fitness programs, what we make sure that we have available during these workouts is we call it the swing workout of the day. Okay, so literally during these swing workouts, if you've never seen them before, we are training not only your body to move better and more efficiently, but we're training the coordination at the same time. Okay, what I mean by that is we're using functional training equipment and we're using drills. And when you're doing these movements, they're training your golf specific mobility, flexibility, strength, as we're also training you to fix that over the top, okay, or that reverse pivot or the other flaws that we saw in there, okay? So again, from a tool standpoint, this was really cool that we were able to get this together and get it out. If you have any questions on it, again, just go in there, find your name, find the, um, the date and again it's it's live so people are using it so again just be patient toggle the um the date and time and you'll be able to access your program uh very quickly there so we'll be helping you out as we move on but simply again click it find your name export it as a pdf and you've got a great roadmap to begin your process of a routine okay so let's talk a little bit more about routines again now that we've got some cool tools to help us out here and we're gonna talk about what makes up a game changing routine, okay? So number one, we already said it, goals. Do you wanna get faster, okay? Do you want to improve your swing flaw, obviously? But what do I need to be able to do that, okay? So we need to be able to goal set, we need to be able to measure, and we need to be able to have improvements because that's gonna allow us to mentally move forward and move the needle, okay? So there's a couple of ways that you can do this. One is our GFX coaches have a screening um, to be able to do that. We have some at-home screenings you can do as well that we'll have coming out soon. But you know your golf swing. You know when you hit balls and what you feel. You also know the feeling of better mobility, rhythm, tempo, and balance. So make a note as you start this process of, okay, I am at this point, and I want to get to here. And here are the tools that we're going to have to do that. All right, so if it's speed. All right, speed training is what we have to do, but we have to incorporate that with our, also our coordination training. And we've got to make sure that your body 
is working properly and moving well to be able to do that. So we've got the orange whip that's going to help you do that, as well as the orange whip light speed. And we're going to talk about the speed goal as we come back. Schedule. So again, what is what? How much time do you have available? All right. If you ask me a perfect scenario, I would encourage you, as Jim mentioned before, that we should have some sort of movement take place, some sort of activity on a daily basis. Now, this can be as little as a three minute routine with the orange whip. This can be a swing workout of the day that's only 20 minutes. But again, make sure you know your body, make sure you don't overdo it, because to be successful with the routine, we have to make sure that we stay within ourselves. So a great starting point is I want you to at least do the swing workout of the day three times a week, all right? That's 60 minutes in total. The swing workout of the day is literally our all-encompassing program that trains all of the swing skills at once. And if you don't know where to start, some of you said, I don't know my swing flaw, we prescribe it daily to you, okay? So we literally, on the website, you go to the site, log in, and we have it there for you to do, okay? So that's where I would tell you to start is three times a week is a great starting point. These workouts are low impact. There's a warm up and a cool down, and the actual workout itself is only three to four movements. Okay, so keep that in mind of how that works. It's very efficient. We'll talk about that. Cost is important. We talked about the expense aspect of that, but if you're a member at a gym and it's really expensive and you're unable to go and it's hard to get there and you have to pack a bag to shower and things like that, um, make sure you know what the cost is. And again, from a time and a dollar standpoint. And then your resources, okay? Who do you have around you? Do you have GFX coaches? Do you have a trainer? Do you have a golf pro? Your location, can you work at home? Do you have tools that will help this process speed up? All right, so those are all things that we want to understand how to get better. And again, we're, we're going to break down some training protocol that a lot of us right now don't have a system or we do, but it really doesn't necessarily allow us to accomplish our goals, which is why we are all here to improve our golf swing. All right. So now let's get into the science here a little bit that's going to reach back into schedule time and goals. Okay, so a, we talked about it before, but a routine, what we all want out of a routine is we want to be able to improve our movement patterns, right? We want to be able to get better at our golf swing, get better at the sport, get more flexible. We had that asked a lot. Get more flexible, um, get more mobile, stronger, and more speed. Um, these are pretty normal across the board for us, um, depending on your level that we may tighten the, um, degree at which we're looking at those. So if you're swinging at 110, um, you're, and you want to get to 120, that's a little bit of a longer road than if you're at 75 and you want to get to 90, um, we can jump a little bit higher, just like we can improve our handicap a little bit faster. So the key to changing our movements is that we have to figure out how to break bad habits. And to do that, we've got to break the setting of a bad habit, okay? And what that is, is that is going to the golf course with a bad habit and continuing to struggle with it. That is being on the range and continuing to hit golf balls one after another. You are in this same habitat in a repetitive motion, and you're trying to think your way through your golf swing with a swing thought. You think you... You get on a golf course, you've got a dog leg right with water. Guess what? You're in another habit if you've got an over-the-top slice, and we revert back very quickly. All right? So we've got to break a bad habit, and to do that, we have to create a positive response. So the analogy I like to use for this is from Functional uh, FMS, and they talk about if it, they bring in quitting smoking, right? So here we are at a fitness conversation. We're talking about quitting smoking, so we're, we're on the right track. Um, what we mean by that is that if we have the right things take place, um, if you have to have that, you know, if you have that habit of needing a, a cigarette after dinner, and I never thought I'd say the word cigarette during a exercise, but this is a great analogy. So if you're a smoker and you're trying to quit and you, you're used to having a cigarette after dinner and you're sitting there after dinner at the table, your habit, your habitat will overcome your ability to fight that habit. So what instead we want you to do is we want you to then, instead of sitting there thinking about it is after dinner, get up and go for a walk. You've changed that routine and reprogrammed it. Okay. And just like instead of hitting a slice and losing the ball in the water on the right, or instead of continuing to hit balls, 
We want to change your habitat and turn it into our swing training programs. So again, that may be instead of hitting balls, let's perform a 30 and a 60 swing orange whip and a light speed program and then hit balls. All right, let's do one of our video um, routines, our video hitting drills and change that. A golf lesson is changing a habitat for you to work on corrective patterns. Okay, so there's a lot of things you can do to help do that. The other thing is, is that if there's a positive feeling from that change, it will stick better. Okay. Now, what not a better positive change than endorphin release and exercise and sense of accomplishment. So there's a reason that exercise has a lot more to improving your golf game because it's going to allow you to break bad habits and it's going to replace those bad movement patterns with better ones from a mental standpoint, as well as a body standpoint. When we talk about the mental side. We also are talking about coordination patterns. All right. And when we do this, when we want to break a bad habit, and let's stick to let's stick to the over the top. When we want to break a bad habit, we really want to focus. The way that we do it the fastest way is we focus on we have two to four movements that are going to help us do that. All right. And I like to say two to four feels, or we use the word fit skill. The reason that two to four are good is that if there are more than two to four to help us do that, we're, we're diluting the process. So if you've used more than two to four tips to fix your over the top, we're already wasting energy. Okay. If you're at the range and you've thought about two to four different things to change in your movement pattern to help you not stop slicing, you're going down the wrong road. Okay. We can make this happen very fast. All right. And again, we, to be able to reboot this, we have to have those things happen. It's got to be efficient. We've got to be positive in terms of our our feels, so exercise or good feeling of not hitting it into the water to the right, all right, as well to allow that to really change. And what we call that is if we get you to fix something very fast, it's a response, and we can make you do that right away with some of our equipment and our feels. If that continues to stick, the habit changes, okay? And, and habit meaning your, your bad swing flaw, all right? So we also, we want to make sure that we are doing this when we start out for sure without fatigue or failure. So a lot of you, um, when the word golf fitness comes up, we get a little bit nervous about uh, fitness. Maybe we don't work out. Maybe we already have a routine that we like. Um, but we can create this, this feel pattern without fatigue, and it's going to allow it to work a lot better for you mentally and for you to be able to really have it take place. Um, this can be as little to, to allow this to happen. These two to four feel movements could be one time a day for your swing workout of the day. Um, you can do it, you know, walking, like Jim said, get up in the morning, listen to your song, perform it. Um, and those little things can help that happen. And again, we can really overcome this uh, very quickly by taking this response from better movement training, breaking the habit by changing the environment that we're in. So we have to replace our repetitive practice um, with a better system, all right? And then from there, we're gonna allow for adaptation to take place. So there are some keys that we wanna be able to think about. And when we get into the Golf Fitness X methodology and the system that, and the tools that we have for, for everybody, um, there's really three game-changing routines that I've already kind of touched on a little bit. We've got our swing training routine. So I would define this as your off season when you're not playing or hitting balls. All right, we're able to really now maybe invest a little bit more time where we had to split it between the course, the driving range, and now we can really work on functional golf fitness. All right, so I always say, give me 10 minutes and we can make some serious strides, all right? So for those of you who are going into the off season, I encourage you to understand what we mean by swing training, by using our swing workout of the day, by using our, our whip and our light speed wings and by using our uh our hitting drills that are using our functional training equipment all right swing training is also when we're enhancing the performance when we talk about performance that's when we talk about swing speed or really breaking into the performance movement itself and making those changes by again using only about two to four movements to have that immediate response um, that's positive okay and again we can encourage feels because during our swing training we're going to train 
the fitness needed to perform the necessary proper swing, as well as the coordination as we train you. So again, think of a workout and a golf lesson at the same time. All right. Your practice routine. So that is a routine. You go to the range. Let's just say you're hitting balls after work. All right. If you go to the range and you decide you're going to work on the swing tip you heard, again, if it doesn't change anything in two to four sessions, we need to abandon it. Why doesn't it work or in two to four swing thoughts? Why doesn't it work in two to four swing thoughts? Because we haven't trained coordination properly. It's not allowing your body to function well. Okay. And it's not hitting on all of the same things that you do in your swing, the range of motion that we need. All right. The speed at which we do it. If we do those four things, speed of motion, range of motion, coordination, and muscle contraction, which again would be body-based, your body's going to be able to really make some advancements. So your practice routine is really, really important. It's also where you get to train your fundamentals. So those are ball position, alignment. We, we define posture as a swing skill and a fundamental, your routine to be able to do that. So when you practice, make sure your routine has fundamental training and that you are training you're using your practice routine to apply the improvements you've made to your movement patterns in your training, or your practice routine is also involving that training idea of two to four movements that are really able to improve your swing very quickly. All right. The other thing is pre-play routine, and this is getting your body ready to perform the way that it should be able to, right? So why do you play good one day and bad another? A lot of the time it's your body. Maybe you slept in a funny position, didn't get enough sleep. Maybe you had a workout before you have, you were carrying the kids around Disney world and your body was sore or you had muscle, you know, muscle fiber broken down tightness in the joints from traveling. So we want to make sure that we functionally prep movement prior to playing. So that's a routine that we want to do as well. All right. So let's talk about, we've talked about some of the methodology behind it. We've talked about the tools that you have to do this. Let's dive into it a little bit more and take a further look at it. So, Steve, how are we doing on time? Everybody's gone? Maybe. All right, so let's go to, we're still on over the top. We're going to drive from the inside and take a look at what this swing workout can do and how you can, again, this program we've designed to do all those things I just talked about. Simple. We've given you your days of the week based on your customization. I recommend uh, starting out three days a week with the swing workout of the day, using resistance based on your abilities and working within yourself, and then you can add to it from there. We have a lot of our athletes who do the swing workout of the day every day. It's 20 minutes long. It's, the actual workout itself is nine minutes. But it's really functional movement training. It's actually got recovery pieces to it as well, um, where we're really not overloading your body, but really working your joints. Our speed training, we would define as being a little bit more of overload. And usually we'll encourage you to do some active recovery after that. And I'll show you this on our, um, on our PDF that we have saved here. So let's talk about this routine that we just pulled up. Again, over the top, this individual said, I can work out three days a week. Um, and based on what we found, so let's talk about this a little bit more in depth. They can, they're willing to, per, to put forth three specific days to work out in a golf specific manner. Okay. So from a golf specific manner, we're going to, in the GFX methodology, we're going to work the swing skills and the fitness needed to do it. And that's our swing workout of the day. This athlete also based on the fitness questionnaire, flex, flexibility and mobility were, were very high. And strength and stability was an area that we would look to improve. So in terms of our goals, when we asked you how hard those movements would be in your questionnaire, these, some of those strength movements would be a little bit harder. So what we would do is if the athlete was at a point where they were ready to add some strength training, we have an E9 strength training program that is golf specific as well. Okay. Now, if you're just starting out and three days a week from a fitness side is going to be your starter program, start with the swing workout of the day. And as that gets easier, you can take a look and start to add these additional programs. Keep in mind that you can do the swing workout of the day, the E9 and the stretch routine in about 35 minutes. Okay. That is very, very fast. And I promise 
during the swing workout, you're going to feel like you're practicing. So we talked about swing training. That's what we do during that to really break down those habits and create that response as well as adaptation, that long-term change. Okay. So the other thing we have is the stretch training that we do also um, talk about, and we'll go in and we'll break into these a little bit more here, but let's take a, let's take a look at that SWAT again. Hey, Brian, we're at about uh, 245. Just, I know you're looking for the time. It's, it's about 245 right now. All right. What time are we going? About five more minutes? Yeah, five, 10 minutes. Okay. All right. So our swing workout of the day, we talked about a, a series of movements. Um, we've got body prep prior with a warm up where we're working on your golf specific muscles. So if you're getting ready to start a routine and, you know, if, the, if you've got a different way of doing it, obviously utilize these tools. But if you've got a different way to do it, make sure that we get those golf specific muscles ready to go. And what we're talking about with those, we're talking about the hips, we're talking about the abs, we're talking about the upper back. Those are great areas to start. Okay. So we do a small little warm up where we do some movements. And these movements, again, are all available on our, on our website. They have a quick demo you can watch, and you can really put these into your everyday life by just clicking play or even doing them when you're on the road or whatever. So we've got around the world where we're really stretching out that upper back that we call that. We've got back rack shoulder press with rotation. So we're starting to get that body to rotate. And we're doing each of these for a minute. Okay, so a lot of people ask, I'm a little older, I'm new to the program, what should I do? Well, the way we've designed these workouts is we've designed these that each exercise is a minute long, okay? As golfers, we all need to achieve the same goals. Our goal is to swing efficiently. No matter if you're 105 years old or you're five years old, we need to be able to bend, turn, tilt, okay? Put the club in an efficient position, and we need to be able to do that. Now, the degree at which we do that and the efficiency that is performed may vary from a tour player to a beginner, but we all want to strive to be that more efficient mover. Okay, so for the people who ask, I'm a little older, my flexibility is down. These movements are still designed for you to start slow. You've got one minute to do as many as you can with proper form. We break the form down for you during the movements. Okay, and work at your own pace. An, a uh, high level fitness athlete who's doing the swing workout of the day five to seven times a week is going to do maybe 30 of a movement while someone who's getting used to the movement may only do five. Okay. Again, with proper form is key. So we've designed these to allow anyone to be able to, to use these programs, no matter what your skill level, our equipment can adapt based on that as well. We've got our junior, um, orange whip. We've got the compact for indoors. We've got speed training with the light speed and our power appeal. We have additional band resistances that you can use from light. Okay. That's five pounds all the way up to our stiff, which is about 15 to 20 pounds of resistance. So you can customize this workout wherever you want to at whatever level you're starting at by simply clicking play and working at your own pace. We also have a modifier in each one of these workouts where the person in the back Okay, that you see here, Charlie in the back here, he's modifying these movements. So we're not jumping, we're not getting on the ground. So if you're a beginner, or again, your fitness level, you're looking to start out slow, work with our modifier, you've got one minute to do as many as you can. And you're still going to be achieving the things we want to see by using very direct movements to attack your golf muscles, limitations and coordinations. So as we get into the workout itself, we've got this is an over the top one. I'm going to break these movements down really quickly. We've, we've got two rounds of pelvic punch with release. Okay, so it's, it calls for hip resistance. So we're going to go ahead and put the bands on based on what the workout tells us. All right, this move, pelvic punch, is detailed in the workout itself. And pelvic punch, if you're an over the top, or what we're seeing normally is that the hips stay closed, the upper body moves out over, and that club is moving out defined as over the top. So by putting the bands on and by doing this fit skill movement, we're going to cue you during the workout, push your hips up and forward, squeeze your rear end. I'm using the peel to help me do that. And if I'm able to, I'm getting the bands as well. You can see giving distance. And then I'm going to go ahead and release the light. speed. Even in this workout, we've got the back of this light speed connected. Okay. It's got a bolt in it. 
Now, again, if you don't have the equipment, just by performing these drills during swing training, you're still going to still see improvement. But this pelvic punch move, I'm going to push forward with the hips. Naturally, notice how when my hips push forward, I get air into that trail heel. I start to tilt back into side bend, which gets rid of that over the top. All right, so the question comes up, well, Brian, what if I'm not able to push forward in that? Well, the simple solution would be, well, if I walked up to you, all right, or I was going to stretch you into a position or help you get into a position by activating the right muscles, getting your joints to fire, I'm going to literally walk up and I do this. We've done this on the lesson T if you're a golf pro, or if you've taken a lesson, and I'm probably going to help you feel what that movement pattern feels like and help you get it done a few times. And if it's the right movement, it's going to help that over the top very quickly. So our bands are going to help achieve that goal that we just talked about. All right. So even if you're stiff in the lead hip, the peel is going to make you work into that hip as the bands are creating assistance. So you can see when we talk about how to design a routine and use very specific movements to help attack your limitations and coordination issues, these are designed like a rifle laser shot, not a shotgun blast to help break this down. When we add in the routine of now three times a week, your golf body, your response and your percentage of improvement is going to jump off the charts because what we're doing is we are training the proper coordination. So the last part of pelvic punch here is the release. So the light speed being connected is going to pull the handle down and let the club swing past me. All right. So again, I'm training coordination like I would on the lesson T. All right. I'm training range of motion by the bands helping me get pulled into that position. Muscle contraction, okay, because I'm also getting some assistance here. The peel, the functional training equipment is going to help me out. And then the range of motion, all right, so, or the speed of motion. Sorry, we talked about range already, but the speed of motion is going to be what we want to see in our golf swing, all right? So this is one example of what you'll find in the swing workout of the day. So where do I start? These style of movements are huge to help you out. All right, you can see that we're working the body's ability to perform it as we're also training the coordination. You'll get on this and the feel mechanisms that'll activate for you. Again, that's going to create a positive response. And people always ask, how long does it take to train a movement? All right, back to my smoking analogy. People take longer amounts of time to change quitting smoking. Why? Their habitat, right? What is your habit? So it's not a question of how long it takes. It's a question of how efficiently you attack that bad movement. And by using this style system, it's going to happen a lot faster. So again, from a routine standpoint, this is super valuable. We've put it all into this online system for you. But for those of you who are just looking from a 30,000 feet view up, and maybe you're not going to use the website, make sure that the movements you're performing, whether it be to gain flexibility, speed to fix your over the top are going to pinpoint that direct issue. Okay. Now, if you go to the range, that's the old habitat. Don't think your way through it, but swing train your way through it. Okay. Three days a week. If you're going to actually train into a workout pattern, if you're, and then again, every day, if you can for just a few minutes to help that body understand that is great. Naturally, if you can't, not a big deal. Um, I only like to see workouts done about five times a week, but then we trickle in our active recovery um, as well. So our E9 is our strength program. We talked about briefly. You guys can check all this out on the site. But then our swing training program. So some of you, we asked in this questionnaire, and, and we'll open it up for questions here shortly. But some of you in the, in the questionnaire, we asked, are you interested in exercise? Or we said, is your body okay? And if you said, my body's fine, I just want to focus on my swing, this is where the practice element is going to be huge. So what we've designed, again, based on the amount of time you're willing to put forth, which is a huge part of your routine, is we've created these feel-specific training, swing-fixing, body-improving swing training programs. So you'll see we've got 30 swings with the whip, 30 swings with the light speed. So we're, we're taking rhythm, tempo, balance. All right, and when we perform these movements, Let's take a look at this again, just so you guys can see what this looks like. There's some body prep. We talked about some warm-ups. So we're getting the hips going, 
But let's jump into the actual swing training itself. So you can see how we're how we're using that to help us, right? And the whip is going to make that happen even faster. So we talked about habitat, frequency. We talked about changing patterns. In those little routines, it's 10 swings with the whip and only three movements. You take those same three movements and you do them with the light speed. And I'm telling you, for those of you who have used the light speed and used the whip from a combination side, it is huge. When you go to hit balls and perform your practice, watch your fundamentals, make sure they're in the proper position, okay? And you're, you don't even have to think, I want you to grab a club and swing your own swing, all right? We're going to make you a more efficient mover. We're not trying to make you think your way through your swing. You can't think your way into quitting smoking, right? You've got to create a, a program that helps you reroute that entire process with positive feedback, and we can make your response happen instantly. When you swing an orange whip and it feels good, you got to feel it. That is an instant response, and with some additional time, right? It's not based on how long it takes. It's based on the individual, okay? And how good the movement patterns are with your training. So based on that, we can really create some positive fixes that can, I've seen, we've seen rapid improvements on the peel instantly, okay? To get those to stick and turn into adaptations, we add in a little bit more to it with frequency, but we should be seeing improvements happen very quickly or we're not focusing on the right way to do it. And then again, use your time, your schedule, your resources to help build your own routine for off-season training. If you're looking for flexibility, again, your goals are going to be slightly different, but the programs are still here, all right? Flexibility, we've got flexibility built into every movement we do. And then if you want even more than that, we have GFX Stretch, which is specifically designed to do that. So when the concept of, I want to know what kind of routine should I have, what's a good routine, what's a bad routine, We've already done the heavy lifting here and really wanted to, we were excited to be able to shine light on this with everybody. So I'm excited to hear your questions. Um, Steve, let's go. All right, yeah, thanks, Brian. Um, that was great stuff. I do have a few questions here. We'll get to a couple. Um, we've got a lot that we'll, we can answer afterwards, but I know we're running short on time here. So um, I'll just ask a few, uh, few of these. Um, so do the exercises on the website use the power peel? Uh, so we, on the, every workout, we demonstrate it with the power peel. Um, but we, we have minimal equipment that's performed. So if we go to our, uh, SWAT here at the bottom of the screen, we, we have a demo video for each movement. Okay. So how do I know I'm performing the movement right to change that bad habit? We encourage you to watch these videos, but prior to the workout. Now, the reason I'm showing you these is that as we scroll, if there's a movement that's being done, okay, we, we have products that are going to really help a lot. But notice I have a golf club and I'm standing on a band. So our methodology works no matter what equipment you have. We still want you to improve as golfers. That's what we're here to do. Our products are going to make it really, really fast to assist that. I mean, they're just an accelerator. Uh, but you can still be efficient and do that. Even better... Our power strap and speed kit, these go on your feet, okay? They can light speed the bands and everything like that. You can do every movement we do in the workout. And this is an entry-level price point. It's around 200 bucks. You can take it with you anywhere where you don't necessarily have to be on the peel. All right, so remember I said the, the orange whip is gateway. Then you've got light speed. I would call the peel is your full um, movement training, ultimate body and swing coordination um, improvement device. Um, pair that with the whip and so on and so forth. You've got it all, but you can still use our methodology of routine and move specific movements to attack your issues to help get better no matter what. So you can see we're using what we call modified equipment there. All right, here's another one. This is from a, a coach out there. Um, the certifications, how often are those scheduled and how do I attend? Absolutely. So, um, with COVID happening, I, I, I think I was on the road every two weeks. We had scheduled out from Manhattan to Pebble Beach. When COVID happened, we obviously put the brakes on that, uh, but we, 
what we did is we went into heavy development of our online content of our certification. So if you go to the website and go to get certified and click on the find a certification or the GFX coach tab, we have a brand new online program that breaks down the methodology behind assessing, identifying and correcting movement and assigning and prescribing a routine as well as what exercises to do with our equipment, without our equipment, but how to make your golfers better, faster on the lesson tee with you in the gym with you as a trainer. Um, and again, this adds into what you're already providing. So go online. It's our level one GFX online coach. Our level two allows you to provide and teach this uh, workout programming in person in a group class or a private setting. We're working on our new virtual um, interaction with Zoom. Uh, my, the studio down here, the satellite studio, will be where, that will, um, the, where those will start being performed. And uh, those you should see very, very soon. In terms of live workshops, you may see those pop up. Um, or if there's anything custom, um, I do some custom certification stuff where if you're at a club and there's a, a handful of you, um, we can still do some live workshop stuff, but we just haven't put any large group gatherings um, on the books yet. So check out our site. You'll find all that info. You can reach out to me directly as well as um, Burke, who is our, Burke Nelson is our education, uh, head of education, can help you with any questions you have. All right. Um, you know, I think we're going to end there. We're coming up on an hour. So uh, we appreciate everybody for joining out there. If you have any questions, uh, you know, please contact info at orangewhiptrainer.com. Visit us at orangewhipgolf.com. Um, Jim? Yeah, and I've got one more thing. When I was developing the Orange Whip, we made multiple sizes so we could cover all aspects of golf. What Brian Newman has done with the uh, Golf Fitness X program, the Orange Whip Golf and Fitness, he's made it so that all varying degrees of players can get involved. And that's why a lot of the resistance bands come in different strengths. We've almost paralleled it with golf shaft. We have light, regular, and stiff. And that's going to allow you to determine which package fits best with your game, as well as even as Brian said, you could do as little as just a few minutes each morning doing a few of the orange trip warm-up drills, or you could do the SWAD, the E9, the cool down. You can go full bore. That's like a scratch golfer going for it all. So we've tried to accommodate all players and all levels. No question. And, and one last thing is that, um, you know, obviously we, we've got an online membership subscription based, but this product was built, uh, you know, I was a teaching pro and, uh, and a fitness trainer and I wanted to find a way to make my golfers improve really, really fast it's because that constant question of routine, time, schedule, investment became an issue. So yes, this is a, a program and a product, but I wanted to share with you the amount of methodology and systematic approach that this has to be able to provide you from your practice routine to your swing training routine. And then pairing it with the Orange Whip products um, is just in terms of speeding up the process and increasing your feels, your movement, your speed, your body. Um, you know, the results are, are um, can speak for themselves. And then the addition of our foot straps, we talked about uh, again, the, the products or how to change your practice routine. Um, so if you're like, well, what do I do if I go hit balls? I can't do swing training. We've got the brand new foot straps that you can actually ball strike in. So what a way to break a habit to quit that smoking when now all of a sudden I have something that's completely modifying my movement pattern um, from, from my core to my extremities, from the ground up, all those things we want to do. Um, so you can see that this will really actually allow me to hit balls. Uh, live and really create some even more awesome feels during the ball strike itself. So even if you don't exercise, don't care about exercise, have a great program you're already doing, give us a little bit of your time. Um, again, reach out to us. We're really excited to bring you this program and, and hope it really just um, helps you get a lot better, feel a lot better, move a lot better and swing a lot better. All right. Like I said, thank you everybody on behalf of uh Jim and Brian, you know, we're going to sign off here. Um, and like we say here, get fit, swing better, have fun out there on the golf course. So thanks for joining us and keep an eye out for details for the next webinar. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Get fit and rip it, Steve. <laughs> right. <laughs> See ya.